So many people are so crowded there. You touch me, I touch you, and then you ask me who touched you. All of us, one day will die. Then what is the purpose when Jesus raised the dead and live again, and then this person next time will die again? So what is the purpose? Brothers and sisters, we just finished our youth conference. The past two days, we have received a lot and we also pray a lot. Today, this is one of my favorite passages. It's a sandwich, you know, a miracle sandwich inside a miracle. There are two miracles, right? Jesus membangkitkan the girls, but in between, something happened. A woman got hemorrhage one, she comes and touched Jesus. And very funny, you know, when Jesus feel the energy was going out and then he asked, <laughs> this one I, I like the most, he asked, <laughs> who touched me? So many people are so crowded there. You touch me, I touch you, and then you ask me who touched you. But Jesus asking something the disciples do not understand. In this case, Jesus is asking, who touched me with faith? A special touch. The rest of the people, uh, they want to come and see miracles. They will not come and seek for Jesus. Am I coming to seek for Jesus? Am I really pray with faith? Am I touching God? So this story, the woman, the father of the girl, both of them got one similarity is they are desperate. They are so desperate for help. They know Jesus can help them. They know Jesus can set them free. Just like some of us, we come to Jesus, sometimes we desperate for something. I don't know whether today, are you desperate for something or not? If yes, the good news is for you, you touch Jesus with faith. You pray with faith and you will get it. And Jesus said, your faith saved you. Today, people also have a lot of struggle in life. We got a lot of difficulties, facing a lot of stress because of the pandemic, financial problem, job, everything. So what are we seeking at this moment? Are we hoping that Jesus will set us free, will give us something, release us from something? This passage telling us if we have faith, Jesus will set us free. But this setting us free, even raising the dead or heal the sick for a purpose. All of us, one day will die, right? None of us will live forever and ever. This is the reality for human. One day we will die. Then what is the purpose when Jesus raised the dead and live again, and then this person next time will die again. So what is the purpose? Or Jesus heal the woman, will this woman sick again? Ah? All of us get sick, right? Will this woman get sick? Yes, definitely he, she will get sick and she will die also. So what is the purpose of this healing? I just wonder, the disciples, 12 of them, when they following Jesus, three years, ah, were they get sick? Did they ask Jesus to heal them? If Jesus is so close to you, do you ask Jesus to heal? I think yes, Jesus will heal. Just like Jesus healed the mother-in-law, you know, the mentua of Peter. After that, the mother-in-law came and served. When Jesus set us free, it's for a purpose, it's for mission. So today, I want to tell you something deeper than just asking God to help us, release us, save us from troubles. The deeper meaning of this redemption is what? For mission. When the first reading today said, God is life. God is pro-life. Death is not from God. When God create life, for what? For something good. And He create us for mission, for purpose. Therefore, all of us human, when we get birth, we come to this world, we search for the meaning of life. Whoever not able to search for the meaning of life, they will die. When they live, just like a dead man, you know, if you do not have meaning of life, just like zombie, just, uh, just a mayat, a, a living mayat. So, we need to know our mission. The word mission, a lot of meanings. Mission is come from a Latin word. In English word, mission, you can add some word in front, then the whole word becomes different meaning, no? Let's say you add AD, means admission, right? You add COM, become commission. DE, demission. Got permission, got submission, got a lot of mission. If you see something you're supposed to do, but you do not want to do, you don't want to do, then omission. 
today I just want to emphasize on three special words on mission. One is commission, submission, then remission. R-E, remission. When do we use this word remission? We say Jesus' death and resurrection is for the remission of our sin, right? Sometimes in our prayer, in the liturgy, we pray like that, the remission of sin. So remission means redeem, right? Save us. But it's got a deeper meaning, remission. Jesus save us, redeem us from sin to remission because we lost our mission. When Adam and Eve sinned, humanity lost the mission. We lost, lost the mission that God gave us to be human. And then the passion, death and resurrection of Christ give us back this mission, remission. So the redemption is for us to go back to the mission. When Jesus healed the sick, raised the dead, it's for us to be able to go back to the mission again and submit to the mission of Christ. Submission, surrender ourselves to the mission and then to be commissioned. To be commissioned. When Jesus, before he was ascended, he told the eleven, go to the whole world, proclaim the good news, baptize and teach them what I have told you. So, commission. Misa, misa. Mas. Mas means misa. The word misa means to be sent. Sent off. Commission. God commissioned us to do something in our life. Jesus' save us is for a deeper purpose. Amen.